Yo guys, welcome back to another video. <sighs> and today, I have extreme news in the NFL free agency world. Juju Smith-Schuster might be going to the Los Angeles Chargers. And if you've seen this clip of him, he says on Twitch, He says on Twitch, jokingly, in a tamperish way, he says that I'm going to the Los Angeles, I'm going to LA, bro. I'm going to the Chargers. And I believe he was playing with his, with his dudes from Team Diverge. And, well, I know you guys are thinking to have this lightly, but I think it's a big step. And here, you could call me biased because I'm a Chargers fan, but I, honestly, I feel like we don't need him, but it would be, I, I guess it would be nice to have him, so that way Justin Herbert actually has a decent guy to throw to, but I feel like if we all know that he's a social media influencer as well, then just a football player, then he could be using his platform to invest in that. People are going to think it, especially his social media fans. Are gonna think that it's not business related. It's obviously a joke, right? He uploads this to his TikTok, joke jokes over and whatever. But he could be sending a message to the Chargers. He's like, hey, like legit, call me. We could get something done. Like that could be happening. And I'm extremely iffy on both, but. If he, let's say he does end up going to the Chargers, he's going to a, an extremely strong wide receiver core with a, with a very promising uh, future in Justin Herbert in, uh, in their QB. So, I, I think that's how I'm going to take it, but you also look at the situation. Let's go back to the TikToks, all right? When he was dancing on the logos, and all that stuff. He is a distraction to the team. He's a huge distraction to the team. And that was never good. The Browns is the Browns. Whatever. And then look at what happened on that same weekend. Yeesh. But you just don't. You just don't talk any smack. Or, jo Juju has, has to be learning from this experiment, exper experience. And it would be extremely, extremely dumb, dumb for him not to. Because he's a football player. He's a talented football player. The Steelers don't need him. The assets are already there. The assets are already there in him. He, he, he can catch the football. He can run. Needs a little... Needs some help with ball carrying, but... He's not too bad. And honestly, the Steelers can't afford to lose him. You reinvest in that money, obviously, to get rid of, you know, Ben's paycheck. Ben's huge pay paycheck for him being like 39 years old. But the future is, the future isn't extremely bright in Pittsburgh. And I would actually, if I'm a football player, if I'm a wide receiver, I would actually want to get out of Pittsburgh right now. It's, it's a bad situation. Because you obviously have Big Ben who's getting older, and his fu his future is uncertain as well. Although I believe he's coming back, but just not at the same high productivity level that he was obviously before. Because daddy, daddy age is getting to him. But look, I cannot, I cannot picture Juju Smith Schuster in. A Pittsburgh uniform this season just because of the distractions the cap room the cap space and how it's all working out right now you got Claypool who's promising although at the end of the year he had a slug he although at the end of the year he became a little bit sluggish but still he's talented and I do believe that they can actually develop him and get him to a top 15 top 10 wide receiver in the league they got Deontay Johnson who obviously needs help with catching the ball but hey it is what it is He's, he's very good. He's very good. He's fast. 
He he comes from the slot. He's extremely good. So that's that. And then you have James Washington and Ray Ray McLeod as McLeod's uh, punt punt returner, kick returner, a returner in special teams, and James Washington that that third string or f fourth string, I believe. But you have those guys too, and they invested in wide receiver in wide receivers in the past four years. They have drafted um, a wide receiver in the past four drafts. In, and not just in the entire draft, but we mean the second and third round. They've drafted wide receivers in those all, all, all of those rounds for the past four years. And I believe they haven't had a first-round pick um, in that span. But yeah, that's, that's how this got to this point. So you're at a good position where you have a bunch of wide receiver depth and can't afford for one of them to go because you still have because they're still super stacked and the Pittsburgh Steelers I believe that they planned this all along and they were so once Bed retired or he was getting to father age and they traded him or released him or whatever happened once that happens then I believe that you draft wide receivers for talent so that way your new QB your future um, your future franchise QB is going to have guys to throw to or bridge QB in matters like the Rams trading for Matthew Stafford and the Lions getting Jerry Goff and two, for, two first rounders and Goff is going to be their bridge Q QB. So I believe that could be the thing. And another thing is Derek. Let's put this into perspective of the Raiders. You got Derek Carr. So Derek Carr's future is extremely uncertain right now. People are sending offers. Same thing with Kirk Cousins. Um, he's the 49ers are actually interested in him. The team that eliminated him from the playoffs last year is now interested in him. So we have that such a scenario now. And you relate this to this? It's kind of the same, just in a different position, obviously. Because you you can actually, I think you could afford to lose Kirk Cousins. And then just get a bridge QB from the deal. And like a, a third rounder or a second rounder. Because Kirk Cousins' talent isn't the greatest. I, I, don't think, I don't think Kirk Cousins has ever been extremely good. Nor bad. So he's an average QB to me. Then in Derek Carr's situation, he's been inconsistent and consistent. Pro Bowl, then not Pro Bowl. So it, it's been like that for Derek Carr's entire career. 2016 got, got him to the playoffs. But I, I don't believe that Derek Carr could be a Raider. Like, I, I picture him in a Raiders uniform mostly. But then there's also, you know, like, there's, there's issues with the team as well. And that's one of the reasons why he could get traded. The QB questions, the QB questions are there. Wide receivers are underperforming. Nelson Aguilar called out his team, his teammates for not catching the ball right or something. I don't know. And meanwhile, Nelson Aguilar sucked as well. So I don't know what he's complaining about. It's it, right now. It's a bit of a it's it's a bit of a tough situation if you're the Raiders that hasn't been talked about extremely. That's how I feel about all of the situation going on, and Deshaun Watson situation. We're gonna go over this too, in this sports talk episode. Deshaun Watson is a generational talent that got wasted this year. MVP cal caliber numbers, and guess what? Four and twelve, your team goes. No receivers whatsoever. You traded your your franchise wide receiver for the next decade or so in DeAndre Hopkins. Horrible decision by Bill O'Brien, and Bill O'Brien caused what is now today. Because if that doesn't happen then I think we're, we're all sure that Deshaun Watson would like to stay in the team and be Super Bowl contenders at that time. Because he's 25 years old. And the league is now getting to the point where young franchise QBs are getting involved with the organization's moves, like Mahomes. He wanted Clyde edwards helaire in the 2020 draft, so they used their first-round pick to get him. The Chiefs, the Chiefs listened to his call. Picked up Hilaire, and Hilaire's been a nice addition this year. 
And I, I think he's going to be a key factor in Super Bowl 55, actually, I do. But moving on to the topic, Deshaun Watson, that's what he kind of wanted. He wanted at least some, just a voice of him, a tiny peep of him being heard with tape saying, I want this guy as our GM. I want this guy as our GM. And then the owners reflect on that and then just put his, his voice into perspective for a bit, but then obviously ultimately make the decision. I, I believe that's what Deshaun, Deshaun Watson wanted. I, I, he just wanted some attention to bring to the organization on the future. In which case, I don't blame him, but the, the NFL is getting into this era where this is becoming a huge trend. So, will Deshaun Watson go to the Jets? I don't know. Will Deshaun Watson go to the Bears? Um, I don't know, but but Watson is, like I said, he's a generational talent. He's extremely good, and he's being wasted by the Texans, and the David Coley hire isn't going to help it much. Deshaun Watson, they said, the Texans organization said he's a Houston Texan right now, and that's where he'll be right now. Okay, they they said they won't they they aren't going to trade him, they they aren't going to trade him. So if so, then how do you fix the holdout with Deshaun Watson? If that's gonna it's that if that's gonna be the scenario, how do you fix that? You just release him, you trade him, what whatever. But no way that that uh, situation in Houston is going to work out anytime soon. And if there's one team that I do believe he's getting traded to, I think he could go to the Bears or Washington. And Washington's situation is also very interesting because Washington is qu is questioning on their QB decisions. You got Alex Smith, the guy, an incredible comeback, but I just don't ever think he'll play like he like he will. Which obviously he's getting into father age as well, but I don't think he'll ever ever you know just have good of an arm or anything so i feel like getting rid of alex smith might be a better choice but shout outs to him that dude is a literal warrior was this close of never breathing or di like dying he was this close to dying and survived it what a warrior that's that's a heck of a story but i ultimately think that he shouldn't be playing football right now still I don't think he's going to carry that Washington team. I think Taylor Heineke is the guy. And yes, you just might say, oh, SGN, it was only, it was only two, it was only, a, it was only two games that he played in. But yes, one of them was a playoff game versus an extremely good defense in Tampa Bay. And he honestly shined. He shined. He, he went extremely, I, I, I liked his play a lot. It, it was, it was extremely good play by Heineke, and I think they got themselves a future. But guess what? He's a free agent right now. I'm not even sure that they're going to sign him. So if so, Washington is trying to pursue for Watson or getting somebody in the draft. And getting somebody in the draft, like a guy like Trey Lance, would actually fit perfectly because he's a run-style QB. He can, he can pass the ball. Um, he was, at, he was uh, out of NDSU, North Dakota State, in the D2. But yes... Comment down below what you guys think of these situations. All these situations are extremely crazy. Juju, maybe wanting to leave Pittsburgh. Um, Watson, pursuing to leave the Texans and demanding a trade request. And, um, yeah, guys. That'll be it for today's video. Peace out. Bye, guys. Peace out.